From globe-trotting wonders to the silent sentinels of the desert, airplanes lead captivating lives. For many years, these magnificent birds of steel grace the skies, connecting continents and bridging worlds. But like all grand tales, there comes an end. Imagine this, after flying for about 30 years, these remarkable birds eventually succumb to the passage of time. Every year, airlines bid farewell to hundreds of these flying wonders. Some bow out due to unforeseen declines in travel, while some make way for the younglings, sleeker, more energy-efficient successors. Can you imagine that these planes only get about 25 years in the spotlight before it's their time to retire? When you look at the whole fleet, a significant 40% have been flying for over 20 years, indicating they might be nearing their last flights. Their final resting place? The vast, sun-soaked expanses of the Arizona desert. But this isn't a somber end. Like stars exploding in a supernova, these retired jets burst into a treasure trove of invaluable parts. From thunderous engines and high-tech sensors to life-saving oxygen masks and the captain's trusted throne, there's a myriad of components waiting to embark on a new journey. These pieces, now sought after in the bustling second-hand bazaar, collectively command a price tag running into millions. Journeying from the azure heavens to their final resting place, aircraft undergo a transformation. Engines, the heart of these aircraft, are usually the first to be removed. They're highly valuable, especially after the pandemic, and are sought after. Some parts are used to train new pilots, while others are transformed into furniture or small items like keychains. The rest? Turned into scrap metal. Imagine this. A shiny new Boeing or Airbus can cost anywhere from $100 million to $300 million. But like everything, they age. After serving their purpose, airlines often replace these big planes with younger, more fuel-efficient models, mainly to save on major costs like fuel and crew. Throughout its life, a plane might change hands three to four times. The strategies of individual airlines can influence this. Take Delta and its Delta Tech Ops division as an example. They bring in around $4 billion from engine services alone. Because of their specialized skills, they might keep older planes longer, giving them an advantage over competitors. Yet, older planes mean more maintenance costs. While many planes get new owners over the years, some end up without buyers. These planes are sent to special facilities where they're taken apart and their parts are sold. Even though this part-selling business is a small piece of the massive $94 billion aircraft maintenance market, its importance is growing. With major companies like Boeing and Airbus falling behind on their delivery timelines, airlines are feeling the pinch, especially as people are eager to travel again after the pandemic. This sector, catering to various customers like airlines, lessers and parts companies, is witnessing a global trend. The world has awakened to the potential of serviceable used material. Now, where do the flying chariots, deemed unfit for the skies by airlines, find solace? Places such as E-Cube's establishment in Coolidge, Arizona. With a niche expertise in aircraft disassembly, they welcome these magnificent structures in Spain, the UK and Arizona marking the end of one journey and the beginning of another. Why the desert, you ask? Firms like E-Cube favor this parched environment, as its low humidity protects precious aircraft from the insidious grasp of corrosion. Once they touch down in this sandy sanctuary, these metallic birds either await a new lease on life or commence their final swan song. Should trade winds favor them, they might saw the skies once more. But for others, E-Cube's master craftsmen meticulously disassemble them cherry-picking the creme de la creme of parts for an overhaul. Everything that remains is either cleverly upcycled or responsibly recycled, ensuring Mother Earth nods in approval. Now, which part of the aircraft holds the golden ticket? The engines. These mechanical marvels, akin to the heart of the plane, depreciate slower than their airframe counterpart. Following close behind in value are the landing gears. But let's not be mistaken, every part on an aircraft carries a hefty price tag. Just to give you an idea, leasing narrow-body engines can set one back by a whopping $100,000 a month. The disassembly is no child's play. Depending on the aircraft's model and demand, they can extract a modest 200 parts or delve deep, extracting up to 2,000 from a wide body. These extracted treasures range from state-of-the-art avionics to mundane items like flight attendant handsets and even food carts. Ever wondered about the complex cockpit? By the time E-Cube's done, it's bare to the bones. However, not all that glitters is gold. 
Just because a part was recently operational doesn't mean it's ready for an encore without a thorough inspection. Many find their ways into the hands of aftermarket suppliers, who play matchmaker, pairing these parts with eager buyers. And the circle of life continues. About 95% of the plane is recycled, with the majority going to the crush pad. Specialized firms swoop in, separating and disposing of non-metallic parts responsibly. The skeletal remains are then crushed and sold to smelters. Some, however, stand sentinel in the desert. Their majestic silhouettes are testament to their glorious past, visible from afar. In a world where age is often seen as a liability, the realm of aviation is defying the norm. As the global fleet's average age soars, old yet gold airplane parts are emerging as aviation's treasured relics. Why this sudden fondness for the elderly, you ask? Airlines, it seems, are playing the waiting game. With new planes hard to come by and giants like Boeing and Airbus having their order books chock full, many airlines find themselves embracing their aging birds for a tad bit longer. Interestingly, the retirement party for narrow-bodied planes, which form the lion's share of our commercial skies, is being postponed. With the average retirement age climbing to 24.5 years, a spike from 22 just a year earlier, the pressure is on. Aircraft owners are rolling up their sleeves, patching up these older planes with parts that might be second-hand, but are second to none in performance. The aftermarket, in a race against time, is roaring louder than ever, outpacing even the original equipment sector. With data pointing to a projected 17,000 aircrafts, all more than six years old, a significant age since it marks maintenance time, by year's end, there's no denying it. This surge, a solid 19% leap from 2019, overshadows the trickle of newly minted planes gracing our skies. Driving this trend are the notorious supply chain snags, causing a notable drought of fresh aircrafts in the market. Consequently, the old guards of the sky are doing more heavy lifting, making their used parts akin to gold dust. With retirement plans shelved due to delivery days, these parts have become the unsung heroes, ensuring the birds keep soaring. In this era of challenges, execution and stability reign supreme. While unforeseen disruptions continue to throw wrenches in the works, relentless efforts are underway to smoothen the creases and honor commitments to customers. But there's always a catch. As airlines cling onto their planes, fewer aircrafts are available to bequeath their parts. Tragically, not all of these salvaged parts will experience the thrill of flight again. The Aviation Graveyard, a place where aircrafts retire, isn't just about old planes fading into oblivion, it's about metamorphosis. Planes, particularly their parts, might be seasoned with age, or perhaps not quite in vogue for modern airlines. But in their afterlife, they find unique ways to stay relevant. Think of it as upcycling at its finest. Picture this, aboard a ferry, passengers comfortably nestled in what were once airplane seats. It's not fiction, it's reality. As some businesses repurpose aircraft seats for ferries, Others give these relics pride of place in boardrooms. In fact, the elite seats that once soared in premium airline cabins now hold court as posh board chairs, and it's not just a quirky office furnishing, it's becoming a sought-after product. Yet, as innovation streaks through the sky, challenges arise for recyclers. Gone are the days when planes boasted of purely aluminium skins. Enter the era of the carbon fibre marvels like Boeing's 787 Dreamliner or Airbus's A350. Sure, these birds are fuel savers, light and efficient, but their new age composition could complicate recycling. Companies such as E-Cube and Ascent brace themselves for a potential deluge of retiring jets. If fuel prices shoot up, airlines might swap older models for fuel sipping successors, an aviation data tidbit. The peak of packed aircrafts reached 65% in April 2020. And while it tapered to around 18% recently, Experts hint that a tidal wave of retirements might be on the horizon. The aim? Whittling down that 18% to single digits. All eyes are now on recyclers to crack the code of recycling these modern marvels. The industry's ambition is crystal clear. Aim for the stars with a recycling rate of 100%. Admittedly, they're not quite at the zenith yet. But as they say, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey and the path to full recycling is proving to be an intriguing adventure in itself.